Okay, so today we're gonna rebuild, or not really, we're gonna clean this carburetor. Now, you, what you're really gonna, all you're really gonna need to clean it is a half inch box end wrench or uh, socket and wrench, but I've already loosened this because it's really tight, so I'm just gonna take this off. What you have here is like an, uh, is a little ceiling washer and your bowl nut, but this one's old, so it's got this adjustment screw on here for the main jet. That's okay. That never has to really be clean. This is really gummed up. And here's your bowl. Here's your full of gas, but I drained it. It's pretty clean in there. I might try to clean some of that out. But it's pretty clean. Then you have your float. Right there. This one's metal because it's old. It's, it's nice. This stuff was built back then. Built to last. Here's your pin. You just lift this up. Shake it next to your ear. Now, you know, if you hear anything, you replace it, or if it's plastic, replace it. If it's brass like this, or whatever this is, you can just solder it on that solder line. So, that's, that's still good. And then you've got your needle right here. So, the, pull, just pull this out like that. Now you don't want to rub this black finish, there's, a, there's black finish on the end, I don't know if you can see that or not, but there's a black finish on the end. You want it on there, it's a sealant. You set that off the side. Now you look down inside there, you don't see, it doesn't look that dirty, but I am going to pull out the main jet on this because this thing was, I don't know. I thought the float was stuck because it was backfiring and stuff to the carburetor. Actually, it backfired and caught the gas on to the carburetor on fire. Now that came out easily. Sometimes it's really, really hard to come out. So, just take this out. Now those little holes right there, all those holes. All those holes they have to be perfectly clean. If they're not clean, this thing will not run right. I'm just gonna take a little drill bit, blow through there, and then I'm gonna take my air compressor and blow through it with the air compressor. Set that to the side. And that's really all you can take off this. I need to get in this auto shaft because mine is loose and leaks through it, but Oh yeah, and you also want to blow out the holes in this with air. I don't have a carburetor cleaner, so I'm just going to use air. So, we get, again, I'm going to use, I'll just use, I'll use my really long blow gun. This thing's a beast. I can't even fit it all in frame. <laughs> that was not good. So, it's gonna go like this. Blow in there. And then the same there. I don't wanna blow too hard in there. And then, there's a little intake right there. I like to blow in those. Some people don't, I do. You can probably hear it. And the camera, like the air coming right at it. And then if you want to, you can blow inside there. Doesn't really do too much. Oh, and you've got also got your adjusting screws for idle. Uh, one of these is idle, one of them high speed. I actually don't know which one's which. But I'm pretty sure that's idle and that's high speed. But unless you're surging and or not surging sometimes surging but doesn't hardly ever have to be adjusted now I'm gonna take this first I'm gonna blow it through with the air compressor yeah, I'm trying to do this the best I can just like that Stick that and then I'm gonna use a drill bit. I prefer to use drill bits. Torch bit cleaners are really well too, but I don't have any. Oh, I actually don't have a drill bit small enough. Well, there goes that idea. 
Um, let's see if I can find a wire brush. It's laying around. Uh, I have some copper wire. I stick a little bit of copper wire here and run it through there. Okay, copper wire. So, you yeah, just take these little holes and just run it through there. And just spin it around, and both of them. Like that. And then there's this one here. Run it up that. Just spin it around. Pull it through. Same with these ones, this lower one. Oh, it's crooked now. Same with that one. Spin it around like that. That's good. And same with that one. I already did. And then this one here. Go all the way through. Some of these have really, really tiny little holes. Oh, and there's this little center hole here that sometimes gets clogged. I didn't even show that one. A little center hole there. But that's usually pretty good for cleaning it. So then you just gotta reassemble it. So take your main jet, stick it in. Well, I don't even know if I can. Yeah, like that. Stick your main jet in. Or do that in camera because I don't really have a great tripod. It's not even a tripod, it's just, yeah, <laughs> piece of metal that you bolted to. I'm just going to take this and screw it back in. There's a, little, there's a little hole right here that get clogged sometimes, right there, on the other side. But I don't usually have to worry about those. Let's do that. Take your needle, stick it down on the, well, actually, before you do that, take your float. I don't remember how this thing goes to. Oh yeah, it goes like that. A little, a little flap. Sometimes this is harder than it really should be. Just like that. Oh, came off. Just like that. Should just hang like that. And then just take it, set it in the hole. Just like that. Put your pin in. I can get it in. Take your bowl. Put your bowl on. A little hang on, you little washer. Hang on. And bolt it all back together. Nice and tight. Just like that. And you're done. And I'll show you a video of it, hopefully running, if that's all that's wrong with it. Click the like button, subscribe, comment. If I missed anything, let me know. Hopefully this helps someone. Oh, and it needs a new bowl gasket.